I'm really excited for today's video because I have been wanting to do this for a hot second. I'm excited. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back. Today is officially self care day. I have been wanting to do this for so effing long because I've been working on videos, emails, just like catching up on work. I haven't been able to beautify myself. And I'm not talking about a beat and a wig. I'm talking about doing my nails, doing my feet, waxing my underarms, waxing my vagina. Um, I have an itinerary kind of right here in my notes. And so I'll just pop them on the screen. Um, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at some of the things that's on this list. So, the first thing that I got is this foot spa. I'm so excited to use this today. My feet are screaming for help. I've got some hair removal cream. This is for the bikini area and my underarms. I also got wax strips as well. And this is for legs and body. Does that mean, can I use this on my minge area? And this is for legs and body. Oh, I can't use this on the genitalial area. I got this file and this is just to... This is to get rid of dead skin on my feet. I got this Gucci box that has all my nail shit. And then we're eventually gonna do a mask, exfoliate, do my eyebrows. I'm just so excited because my toenails, yeah, have been chipped for... I want to say defo like two to three months and please believe my birthday was last month it's scary times we're in scary 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 times we're in i want to make myself a nice cup of coffee i think i'm gonna set up my humidifier i'll be right back look at her she's really working really going to town what does a humidifier even do it's just good vibes, just putting good vibes into the air, you know. Now I'm joking, it keeps the air moist. So we have the humidifier on deck, my iced coffee, black, with a shot of vanilla. Now, let's do this. I hope you guys can't see my mint. If you guys can, I'm gonna have to censor it. Okay, I'm actually quite scared because I have never actually waxed before. I've only ever seen this on YouTube videos and in the movies. My legs are not even that hairy. I'm not that hairy of a person, do you know what I mean? Wait, I don't understand. What side is it? Do Wait, hold on. 12 seconds later. It's time, we're doing this. Okay, pop it on here. Oh my gosh, I'm actually scared. I've got quite a high tolerance for pain, so I don't think this is gonna be that painful. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh. That's not fun. I don't think this is gonna be that painful. That wasn't fun, fuck it. Woo! Who sent me? Oh, okay, yeah, now, yeah. Now, I'm feeling something. I don't think this is gonna be that painful. I don't think this is gonna be that painful. I don't think this is gonna be that painful. Woo! Oh, this is actually quite fun. Right, let me get a thumbnail really quickly. I wanna play music. Hey Siri, open title. You have the week. Woo! Woo! The trick to waxing is letting it stick on your leg for a while and then peeling. Ooh. Oh my god. Ay ay ay. Actually my first time I've ever waxed before. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I hope I am. I don't know. Yeah, this is hairy. Eesh. I just sat on all the fucking wax strips. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wax my toes and my knuckles. Even though I'm not that hairy on my legs and shit, my knuckles and my toes is always so hairy. Oh my gosh, that was painful. Oh my gosh, that was so painful. I'm gonna do my knuckles now. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, that was painful. Okay, fuck it. Oh my gosh, that didn't even work, my guy. How does 
hair removal come off your knuckles anyways? Like, what's the science behind it? There's some chemical that makes your hair fall out or something. Like, what is it? I think it's the worst thing to use hair removal cream after you've waxed yourself, but yeah. So I'm gonna wait for five minutes for this to just work and then we'll move on to the next thing, which is my underarms because they need to be done. All right guys, I'm back. Personally, I feel like I should have just used hair removal all over my legs because that was really easy and it wasn't as painful. I'm not gonna wax my underarms because I feel like I'm gonna be in so much pain. <sighs> should I just do it? No. <laughs> guys, I, I'm gonna blur out how hairy my armpits are. Okay, so we put a thick layer on. You want all that shit to go. <gasps> Now we wait. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm back and my armpits are done. It feels so good to just like lift up your arms and there's like no hair. If I was on a spa day, I would take a break. I got wraps to go eat something. Prawn and salad. This is the best wrap I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Now, let's do the feet. It's time. My feet look so ugly without no polish on. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <gasps> I've got a thing about feet. I feel like it's so important to take care of your feet. Sometimes life gets so busy, you don't really get a chance to take care of your feet. But when you do get a chance, important that you take care of them i'm one of those people like i will judge you by your feet i judge myself by my feet <laughs> say for example you don't have makeup on you don't have your wig on you look in the mirror you look like a hot fucking mess but then you look down at your feet your feet are done automatically you feel better about yourself everyone always like makes fun of the fact that i have long toenails personally i like having long toenails because it shapes your feet really nice but it does also scratch people at the same time so i'm gonna just chop these down a bit I can't even see. I can't even see. Here we go. My melanin, my sweet, my sweet melanin. This is exciting. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels good. That feels lovely. It feels amazing. When I was younger, my dad always said to me, you gotta keep your hands and feet soft, always. That's something that's kind of stuck with me. So I think that's why I'm a bit anal about it. My hands are really soft in general. I've got crazy soft hands. So I just wanna make sure that my feet matches that same softness. I feel like doing your cuticles is just so, so, so relaxing. Pushing the cuticle back, getting all that dead skin out of there. It's just such a vibe. Highly recommended, 10 out of 10. Gonna move on to my nails now. I'm not gonna put paint on them. I'm just gonna keep them pretty natural. You know what? I never really used to see the importance of like doing things like this when I was younger. I was such a tomboy about things like this. Like I just never used to see the point. And I had this one ex that used to always be like, oh my gosh, you need to do your feet. I used to be like, I don't really care though. That's the thing. But now I'm so obsessed. I stopped wearing acrylics because my natural nails were getting fucked up. And I was like, do you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. They would like break every second. And I just feel like these are my natural nails, like the nails that actually come out of my actual fingers. Like, why would I not take care of these? Like, I have the same thought process when it comes to taking care of like your natural hair. Like, yeah, your wig may be slaying, but the hair underneath your wig needs to also be slaying as well. Cause that's the hair that's coming out of your actual head. I'm telling you guys, for years, I never used to take care of like my natural hair. 
I just never cared for it until I cut it all off. And ever since I started caring about my natural hair, oh my gosh, my hair's grown so much. When I was younger, oh my gosh, I was just so anti-black. I just did not care about my natural hair. I always used to just care about my weave. And I just feel like that's just a wayward mentality to have. Like, how can you care about your weave and not the hair that comes out of your head? To circle back to everything I'm talking about, that's how I feel about my nails as well. Yeah, you can put on fake nails if you want, but the natural nails also need to be popping too. I'm jealous of people that have good natural nails. I'm like, oh my gosh, sis, I stand. Because I've got quite short and stubby fingers. My fingers look better when I have long nails, but I just don't like when stuff gets underneath my nails. I can't stand it. This looks good and it feels good. I'm feeling a lot better. Oh guys, look how healthy my nails look. They're not chipped, they're shiny, no discoloration, the nail beds are there, cuticles on fleek. Like, ah, this is like so exciting. <laughs> like the natural brow look so I'm just gonna squeeze off these little hairs here just to make everything look cleaner I guess oh oh my gosh that fucking hurt. before I move forward this is the body shops salted caramel and vanilla home fragrance oil i'm actually gonna put some of this in my oil burner this is my favorite fragrance they have another one that i really like but it's always sold out oh my gosh oh that's how you get it out you push it all these years i've been banging it oh you learn something new every day perfect i'll put this right here so you guys can see it burning i'm gonna go and cleanse my face i would take you guys with me to the bathroom but it's not that interesting i swear when i wash my face i always look like i went swimming oh my gosh i'm in the mood for a cup of tea should we go make one guys nice I've got so many masks here. I love a good sheet mask. It's between Halika Lika's green tea mask or the simple de-stress sheet mask. I think I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna do the green tea mask. Before I do my mask, I'm gonna tone to rebalance my skin. To tone, I'm gonna use the Nip and Fab Vitamin C Tonic. This keeps my skin nice and bright. I'm actually using the reusable cotton pads. I got this from Amazon. You get like 20, it came with this bag. So you just like put the used ones in the bag and then you throw it in the washing machine, let them dry and stuff. So yeah, now that I've toned, I'm gonna go and use my green tea mask. So this is the Halika Holika sheet mask. This sheet mask was like two pound or like one pound. Mm, that smells really good. I love a good sheet mask. It's just everything to I me. just like putting it on and then just vibe in. Oh, you can definitely tell this is made with ethnic people in mind. See the sheet mask that I usually get? The mouth area is always so tiny. I'm gonna just sit here and zone out for a sec and just relax. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do my nighttime routine. So I'm gonna start with some hyaluronic acid. I don't like to do too much for the nighttime. I keep it quite simple. I just use a lot of vitamin C products. I'm trying to find old photos of how bad my skin used to be so that you guys can actually see the improvement, but. All right, so I'm gonna use some ascorbic acid. Is it ascorbic acid? 8% with alpha arbutin and one thing i've learned with skincare it's better to use vitamin c at night you know it's just better to use it out of the sun if this is actually quite acidic and you can feel it on your skin 
when you're applying it's not like a burn but you can feel slight sensation once i put that in my skin i'm gonna go in with the body shop drops of light and this is also a brightening product this product here smells good and it makes me feel like okay yeah i'm ready to go back i'll do eye cream because i only do my eye cream at night yesterday it went into my eye and it was stinging for quite some time i'm gonna lock everything in with night cream this is l'oreal's age perfect night cream hydration brightening anti-aging kind of like oil control those are like my skin concerns i'll say brightening first and then anti-aging and then oil control my only concern with like being oily is like my foundation breaking down but other than that i'm good so i'm just gonna work that into my skin i'm gonna finish everything off with my eos balm for the night time now that i've got my pajamas on now i feel like i can finally relax so after i wash my face I then go and journal and I listen to praise music. Um, I drink some tea. Mm. And then I plan what I'm going to do tomorrow. The WhatsApp chat is going off. Group chat with the mandem is going off. I never used to be a big tea drinker. I used to hate tea because I just felt like, why are you drinking tea? But there's just an event that happens when you drink tea and it's fantastic. <laughs> this is my journal, six minute diary. Um, I do have another journal that I like to write in, but I usually save that journal for when I'm experiencing like a lot of emotions, like overwhelming emotions. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish my tea, pray, and go to bed. Thanks for watching guys. My feet are dry. Yeah, I like you. The line is going to keep changing because I've got my glasses on and my camera can't read my face when I've got my glasses on. I just pulled out my earring. What the fuck's wrong with me? Oh! Oh wow! That feels really good. I like that. Oh, I can use this. <gasps> They're sticking to me. Okay. Now that that's done, we're going to need. All right, so I don't even care about my carpet. It's just the fact that I've just wasted like half a bottle of nail polish remover. Do 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 do. Do you know that song? Imagine if one of my toenails flew into my iced coffee. That would have been funny.